Ah, uh, your attention, gentlemen. Minister Lee Park will read the royal edict of surrender resulting from the treaty between the Empire of Korea and the Empire of Japan. Trusted and beloved men, honorable members of the Korean Imperial Guard, you are regarded by our conquerors as a small, dangerous band of mercenary soldiers who serve no purpose now but to engender public memories of our recent loss. I therefore, with sadness at heart, and with the undying gratitude of our people, disarm and dissolve the Korean Imperial Guard. From this day forth and forever, I will provide pensions suited to your rank as token of my regard for your devoted service. All officers and the men must understand my intentions and conduct themselves in a manner which does not provoke public outcry or rebellion. I urge you to remember that Korea is now an occupied country and the Japanese occupying forces under the command of the well-known General Hasekawa will not hesitate to use any method necessary to kill off any sign of rebellion. uniforms, surrender arms. No, fire! Yeah! 
trap! Take your pants off. Take off your pants! Take them off! Take them off! Take them off! I said strap! Take them off! You! Get out of that uniform! You bastard! Get them off! the terms of the surrender. Take your uniform off. Now! Didn't you hear me? Get them off! Now! Come on! Hurry up! You son of a bitch! Strip! Fortune brings me again to this place. Thank <laughs> you. 
Gerald! My husband! <laughs> Tell me nothing of the honor of Japanese samurai who kill your father to silence the teachings of Taekwondo. <laughs> Koji, join the guard and use his teachings to protect the defenseless Korean people. I will. Imperial Guard. That's right. Next question. Oh, for a minute there, I thought you were a damn Japanese policeman. Koji Shan, 1st Battalion, 1st Regiment. How you doing? Joe Lee Park, 2nd Battalion, 3rd Regiment. Yeah, I, I'm hiding out from the damn Japanese Army. Yeah, so am I. Ah, uh, disgusting. They think they can erase a whole army with a piece of paper. What are we gonna do? Can't let them take our uniforms off, right? Absolutely. 4,000 years of history discredited. We have to do something. But how? Yeah! <laughs> That's it. Even if they take our weapons, we're not giving up. Because they can't take what comes natural, what we were trained to do. They can't take our fists. With a martial art, with Taekwondo, anybody that tries to take our colors will answer to this fist. I swear, absolutely, they will not have our uniforms. Before they do, we will die. And with our fists, we'll make them give up their uniforms. Force them to. That's right. We'll strip them. We'll get revenge for what they did. Sure, it's possible. The people will begin to resist them. Yeah. And all our brothers will rise up and hurl the Japanese invaders from our homeland. And so we swear to the death. And so we swear to the death. Anybody got a light? Mm. I'll use your butt. Huh? Another one? Huh? Huh? Yeah. How are these guys? What is uh, this? Uh, huh? yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Over there, then. Come over there. Now, get those pants off. Right now. I'm not kidding. Come on, you miserable asshole. Get out of those uniforms, fast. Right now. Spirit trip. Come on now. Oh, good work. Equally matched. 
excellent. That is uh, <laughs> all right. Oh, all right. Hmm? What? What's this? Oh, what? Uh, uh, what? Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh, yeah. The hell is that? Hmm. Hmm. What in the hell happened here? Sir, we ran across some Imperial Guards. What? Imperial Guards did this? Yes. Both of them attacked us with their fists. They used a Taekwondo. So, stripped by two guards? Yes. yes. Two Imperial, Imperial guards. guards. I tell you! Uh, you have disgraced yourselves and brought dishonor. On the entire Japanese army. Look at yourselves. Instead of taking their uniforms, you sneak back in here naked. You know the punishment for disgracing the Japanese army. Take off your boots. In your mouths. Next time I see one, mince me. Yeah. Right. I'll tell you, we get them all together and rip the pig's pants off, put them all on display, naked. <laughs> right. Use them as scarecrows. Scarecrows with the birds that crop on. That's what they deserve. Yeah. Right. right, that's it. <laughs> as symbols for the rest. Yeah, only a hopeless army could do that on the strength of a written order. Drop their weapons and give the whole country to us. Right. right. And that's the way they were ordered to. The emperor sold out those bastards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he left the whole country's control to us. Yeah. Huh. Gentlemen, I give you Korea. <laughs> Oh. Huh? May I join your little celebration? What? To Korea. That's the uniform of the Imperial Guard. Correct. Huh? Ah. You win the prize. A free Taekwondo lesson. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> You pigs! I mean, now is the hour of your reckoning, and you die! Come 
Gentlemen, now it's your turn. Cancer! But how? Imperial Guards did this? Incredible! Ah. 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 I send you out to disarm the Koreans, and you'll come back with no pants on, and no tunics on either. There must be some sort of explanation. Sir, with their martial arts, they put down our swordsmen. They were invincible. We couldn't beat them. We tried our best. 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 You brought me dishonor. And not only me, but the entire regiment. Ah. Uh, imbecile. Goja. You will take these plucked chickens and throw them in the stockade. That's an order. Forward. Forward. Commander. Commander Araki, Central Military Police Regiment. Kuropki, do you like the natural method in which I eat sashimi? Oh, yes. Your method has the advantage of being organic. General, you have requested me. Araki! It would seem you are having trouble. How did you get that piece of information? Kuroki, my chief of CID, tells me everything. General, there have been certain problems. Slight problems. Slight problems? Is running around the countryside dressed only in hats and skivvies a slight problem? It won't occur anymore. I shall capture these men. Thank you. If anything disrupts the disarming of the Emperor's elite guards, I shall lose face as the commander of the Japanese occupying forces. The military police and the agents of the CID must both cooperate very closely in the handling of this case. Come, gentlemen. I'll buy you both a drink to promote interagency goodwill between you two. We'll go to the Lotus Flower, the best geisha house in Seoul. 
Welcome. This way, gentlemen. Greetings, everyone. Good. Here's the gentleman. You may be seated. <laughs> Honorable ladies and gentlemen, I have invited you all here this evening to celebrate the success of our Korean disarmament, but also to make plans as to how to cut the Korean nation up, most lucratively to reap the greatest wealth, both in monetary gain and in land. So gentlemen, I give you Japan's fortune and your own. Surely there'll be more than enough to share between business and military. Huh? <laughs> but absolutely, we always must give the devil his due. <laughs> A toast is certainly in order to our friendly devil. <laughs> And now, for host entertainment and pleasure, an authentic existence done by beautiful Gage. Oh, bring the girl on! Hold it. <laughs> Who's that? Huh? Oh, a geisha girl from the Lotus Club. Geisha? Why'd she take the back way? She wanted to, uh... You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah? She should know there's no smoking opium on the grounds of the Lotus Club. <laughs> Tell me, 
My sweet, sweet little doll, tell me your name. Geisha, Honorable Sir. Geisha? Oh, oh, that's your profession. <laughs> I'll be yours, and you'll be mine. Make me a young and virile man once more, huh? Geisha? Say yes to the general, hmm? A geisha girl should do anything her customer desires. Good. That's just what I want to hear. You shall inflame my passion tonight. <laughs> <laughs> What an elegant affair. Who are you? Uh, what do you want? We're Korean Imperial Guards, as you can see. God damn you! <laughs> Uh, take it easy. Uh, I'm a businessman. You, over here. Fast. You, next to him. You, on your knees. Get over here! Now, gentlemen, take your clothes off. All of them, take them off, fast! Now, everyone, bow down. And don't move. Don't move! Kazakawa. I'll take this so-called Medal of Honor you got from your Emperor. <laughs> so, you tell His Highness that the Korean disarmament is not quite proceeding on schedule. You may think your army is invincible, but you tell your men that Koreans don't die easy. <laughs> Pay up, Iraqi. <laughs> Told you, I want uh, with out pleasure. Uh, Too strong. Go on. Yes. Let's go. Okay, one Just take me money. Okay, now this time, don't let him get first advantage. Ready? Go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Go after them. Shindle. Uh, the disgrace to dishonor! <laughs> what in the hell is going on here? They forced me to slip. They forced everybody! Get them! Quiet! Quiet! Cover up the general.
protect them. Anything wrong, my lady? No, nothing. Let's go. Okay. Let's take a little rest for a while, okay? Come on, let's go. Quickly, quickly, let's go. Yeah, oh, okay. to have been a step too late. Bring him. Hello? Right. A general roadblock around the perimeter of the city. Yes, sir. Stop everyone, no matter who it is. Right. Hold! You there! Why did you find it necessary to make a U-turn? Answer uh, me. I just ruined something I left behind. <laughs> you did, huh? <laughs> Who's this? Uh, uh, good evening, officer. Ah. <laughs> Where are you going? To meet my lover. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. How about me? Mm. Okay. <laughs> You're a nice man. Uh, <laughs> look at him.
Flash. You should torture this man. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I know you have the medallion. Give it back to you is no more than just an old piece of metal. I know that, but to me it's life. My grandfather won it and wore it proudly and handed down to his son. It's a family heirloom. Without it, I shall lose face. In the name of decency, I ask you, give me the medal. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. Why? What prevents you? I haven't got it. My friend took it with him, and I don't know where he is. Set! Oh! Rock! Oh, Rocky! Oh. oh! Do you realize that I must attend the Emperor's birthday party in Tokyo one week from today? Yes. yes. We know, we know that. that. Well, good. And do you realize I must be wearing the medal? Yes, yes we, we know that also. That. that means both of you had better devote considerable time and energy in the sole preoccupation of finding that medallion. If you don't succeed for any reason, I will not hesitate to order you both. Beheaded. Ah. Do you understand? Do you get my meaning? Yes, yes we, we get, get your, your meaning. meaning. Finally coming too. Where am I? You're in my home. Thanks. Idiot! They said you guys were such hotshot detectives that you could even arrest an evil spirit and fingerprint him. Now you're telling me you can't even find a Korean kid with a bullet in his leg. What the fuck is going on? Damn it! I don't know what you're thinking, but I gotta tell you something. Shit! The Emperor's party's in three days. That means you've got 48 hours to get this punk. Understand? Oh, I can assure you, we'll get him in time. So, now, what's the MP have to say? I'm thinking of a way to get him. Ah, uh, thinking? Well, you better think fast! Hey, look at that. That's just one small part of Japan's forces. You thought you could do battle against the entire empire. You misjudged the situation. We've already won. Be sensible. Admit your defeat. You can't continue to buck the system forever. So, please, won't you have something to eat? You know, food is very necessary in staying alive. You would like to stay alive, wouldn't you? 
You're much too young to die. Have a bite to eat while you think about it. Go ahead. Uh huh. Ah, that's better. Good. That's it. Uh huh. Now you're being sensible. Now you stop being a loser. If you tell me where the metal is, I it won't kill you. And I'll also spare your friend. But if you refuse to cooperate, I can guarantee you will be killed. Do you see what I mean? Saving a friend's life is the true friendship. So, for the last time, you tell us where to find the metal and save your friend. I'll tell you once more. Save your friend's life. Julie. Julie.
Jolie. Koji. <laughs> <laughs> so you're okay? Sure. How'd you but get here? How'd you get out? Very easy. When they had me in interrogation, I jumped out the window and flew. <laughs> Great. Just as I was coming after you. So I didn't know where to go, but then I remembered. This is where we had our first encounter. So I figured you'd be here. Good for you. Well, you figured right. Okay, let's get out of here now. Okay, let's go. He escaped. Really? Oh. Oh. Glad to meet you. I've just escaped from the Japanese headquarters. I thought there was no way. Uh, well, uh, come on. Uh, have a seat here. We'll celebrate your incredible good fortune. They say there's no possible way to get out of that place. Lucky. Very fortunate. Very fortunate. Uh, uh, Samura? Yes? Some tea? Yes, my yeah. lady. Uh, so what happened? Well, he kept trying to get me to tell him where that goddamn decoration was. And? I said I didn't know. It was driving him crazy. But I really couldn't help him. Why not? Because, uh, I didn't know where it was. Koji's the only one who knows. Say, man, did you throw that thing away, or did you keep it somewhere? <laughs> I kept it. What? Where is it? You got it here? No, I'm only kidding. I threw it in the river. Come on, let's get drunk with honest hearts. Yeah. That's better. Cheer up. It's over now. You can relax and take it easy. But please, tell us what happened next. Yeah, yeah. Well, they had me in this room, and it looked like I was going to get last in this, but all of it... Don't move a muscle. <laughs> Who told you? Just ask your friend over there. What? <laughs> Joe Lee. <laughs> I'm sorry. They made me promise. Cuff him. What do we do now? The girl's place? Let's go. I've been drinking to avoid boredom while waiting for you. So, how'd you find us? This. Oh. I've been tracing the owner for five days. Do me one favor. What is it? You're after me. Not her. Keep her out of it. Don't involve her in this whole business. And if I refuse? Then I'll have to commit suicide right here. Is that right? 
So you're in love. What do you say? Can you make the deal? Okay. But I do it because that little trinket has top priority. I owe you a favor. Let's go. Oh. Okay, everybody's under arrest. Uh. I believe you're just a bit late. I'll see you. Balls! Jolie. So, how much did they pay you? It's not that way. How is it? They bargain. Not with money, but with life. Our lives. Death has to be avoided at all costs, hmm? You're damn right. I could throw away life just to keep the promises that we made. But that would make no difference to the Japanese. Japan is unshaken no matter how hard we fight. Are we supposed to sacrifice ourselves for a meaningless cause? Save your life. Give them the decoration. Jolie. You've just been thinking too much. You need some rest. to the self-proclaimed hero of Korea. You may come in. Well, we have kept our promises so far. Yeah, it was, however, the promise of a liar. What did you say? You're a hypocrite. And on top of that, a liar. The Korean disarmament's a ripoff, and that phony treaty is just organized theft. <laughs> the lonely hero of a raped and ruined people. Stop it before you make me cry. Sad. Now hand it over. You might be killed if you go to the Emperor's party without the medal? Yes, kid. I might. Then I'll have to give it to you. Hold it! Where is it? It must be. I don't feel anything. Ah! Ah! Oh, no! Come back! Come back! The medallion. <laughs> I 
have to wear it day after tomorrow. Maybe I could get away with wearing an imitation. No! What can I do? What can I do? What shall I do? Skip the party. Huh? General, since you're sure there'll be trouble, don't go. Uh, 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 I will kill you! Uh, do you want to see me shut down like a pig in front of the firing squad? How dare you suggest that I shouldn't go? What do you think would happen to me then? My dreams, my dreams will all go up in smoke. My dreams of glory would break into little pieces. My career would be finished. Is that what you want to happen? Of course not, sir. In that case, get that medal. I'm not paying you to stand around here with a thumb at your ass. It's possible. Iraqi, you sound like you've got an idea. It better be great. It might work. Now, here's what we do. You know how to do a performance. We offer to shoot. Okay. It's great. I wanted to bring you, but I thought the police were watching us. No, it's fine. Have you heard anything about Joe Lee? What's going on? There's no news. How come you say that? Everybody's talking. What is this? Boy, they say what? Come on, tell me. What did they say? I want to know. Joe Lee will... They... At dawn, they will shoot him. Ready! Aim! I've got your trinket. The medal. Where? Ah, huh? is that him? Don't be surprised. I, uh, I heard what you did, and uh, I think that a trade might be possible. What kind of a trade? You let go of the prisoner, and I'll get you the medallion. Naturally, you'll get the medal the minute my friend gets outside. You must agree, you will not harm my friend. Time has got a deal. Okay. Okay. You'll get your man. But you've got to promise to bring it personally. Bring it to us. We'll release you both unharmed. And remember, a summarized word is a promise impossible to break. Goodbye. Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Hold mm. your fire!
Sulin, don't cry. This is the way it has to be. You believe there's a chance you won't be killed? Just send the medal, or the Japanese will have the both of you. And anyway, you take a big chance for someone who's just betrayed you. But he didn't betray me. It's not betrayal? Then what is it? He did what he thought was right. He tried to keep us both alive. To him, staying alive was more sensible than avenging Korea. I have to save him. Then it will be you they'll kill. I don't care. Your death brings everything to an end. So be it. And so, all that we had together will be gone. <laughs> Sulin, does it mean that much to you? Yes, I need you. Do you love me? Yes, I want you. Let him enter. Go, Jerry. to me. First, you will let him out. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. You do like things neat. All right. Attention! Oh. Release this man. Oh. Goji! 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 Now, you satisfied? I'd like to watch. Ah, you don't yet believe me. It's a pity. There, watch.
say? I kept my word. My word is golden, the word of a samurai. What about yours? What do you mean? Well, give me the decoration. Oh, yeah. than you. Accept my humble commentary on your integrity. Let's see how it looks on you. <laughs> Wear it in good health. <laughs> that the emperor gave me was placed around the neck of dog. This lifelong humiliation of the Hazakawa family. What shall I do? I promised I would spare his life and promises are sacred to the spirit of the samurai. Tell me, you two are usually running off at the mouths. What's the matter with their big mouths now? Oh, okay. Let me tell you what we're gonna do. Kuraki! Ho! Prepare the arena. Ho! Contenders! Pay very careful attention. You will be given 60 seconds to beat your opponent. If you win, you will be promoted. If you fail, you must commit harakuri. If the match should end in a draw, the both of you will be killed. When? If you want to live. And if I win? Then you will be released. I have your word. That's right. If you win, I'll release you. You have my word on that. Just beat these four men you see here. Okay. That's a promise. Sergeant! Let the match begin. First contender, Japan's Aumatsu Koto. General, I think you've made the wrong promise. I disagree. I think you've done well. Really well. Because there's not a Chinaman's chance of his coming out of this alive. <laughs> That's right. Amats is the judo champion of the entire Japanese army.
X-Man. Kato Maisachi wa Toshiro Imara Kento. Next man. Shihara, Nikinwa, and Shoho. An exercise of ten. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next man. Shinto! General. Is, is that it? Not quite. He must fight the samurai. <laughs>
Surely, surely somewhere in your great army, you must have someone who can beat me. Let them beat me if they can. If not, then I'm leaving just like it was promised. All right. Now that you have won, take that old uniform off. No way. No way. This uniform symbolizes Korea, a spirit that will not die, and one that's far stronger than the Japanese. <gasps> Koji. I see that you're valiant and stubborn. All right, you win. Uh, leave before I lose my temper! General. Yes? You're not really gonna let him go. What? Keep your mouth shut, Kiraki. Don't pay any attention. We'll let him go, as we promised. Shut up, Iraqi. What good does it do Japan to let him go? It'll just demoralize our own soldiers and strengthen the resistance of the Koreans. That may be true, but it's not a good enough reason to kill him. The spirit of the samurai dictates that we let him go. Sir, make your decision quickly. It's not such an easy one. I'm going to do more than just talk. Araki, you made your point. Karaki, you made your point. But if I accept your opinion, Araki, Japan would suffer. Ah! <laughs> 